Meanwhile, the Nigerian Senate has asked President Bola Tinubu to kickstart advocacy for full autonomy of local government in the country to curb insecurity, rural urban migration, decaying infrastructure and widespread unemployment. This was part of the resolutions reached during a debate on a motion to resuscitate local government system in Nigeria, sponsored by Senator Kawu Suleiman. That without genuine control and decision-making power, local government may be unable to tailor security measures to specific community needs and to build trust with residents, hindering cooperation and uh, effectiveness. The startup that without the power to initiate and manage local economic development initiative, like attracting business, investing in skill training, and promoting local entrepreneurship, local government may be less equipped and address unemployment. Also, the staff that reliant on higher level allocation, local government may lack sufficient resources for essential infrastructure maintenance and development, leading to the deterioration of roads, water system, and vital services in the communities. Other lawmakers who have described the local government as the most abused system have equally called for an amendment of the 1999 constitution to catalyze such independence. The security situation of Nigeria can be attributed to the comatose state of our local government system in Nigeria. Those days when the local government functioned, whether it was native authority or whatever, we had better security arrangements and were safer and better and more secured than now. What is happening? So if we want to help people to go back, if we want security to address, to be addressed at the local government level, I want us to support. It will not be easy. We started uh, the autonomy for judiciary and uh, the legislature. It was not easy. But today, they have autonomy. The real problem is simple. Who controls the governors? Under the law, they have immunity. So you can no longer sue them for utilizing the funds wrongly. Also, Governors right now control the state houses of assembly, so they will never let the state houses of assembly make, for, make laws that will remove them from directly supervising how those funds will go. This is not working, and that's why the security situation in the country is compounded. The healthcare delivery system in the country is not working, particularly at the local government level. The educational system, as we all know, particularly primary education, which is supposed to be the responsibility of the local government, they are no longer capable of carrying out this responsibility. In his remark, Deputy Senate President Barao Jibrin emphasized that any comprehensive review of the 1999 constitution must include genuine devolution of powers to local government. There are chains of action to be taken. It's not only for us to vote for the autonomy of local governments. We must vote for a body different from a body that will be controlled by state government to conduct local government elections. Otherwise, forget it. We must return local government elections to INEC. Or if you are not listening to INEC, create a body which is independent of state governors in the first place. If you do not that, if you don't follow this chain of actions, and you say you want to have autonomy, even with this proposal we're having, we'll go and do it. But who are those to man or to control those funds? Chairman, appointed by who? By governors. So in Hausa, we you say, but the church doesn't even. It doesn't change anything. So we have to, you know, concentrate on two things. Mode of election, those who are going to conduct the elections, to have the people that are going to man the local. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.